So, inshallah, um, I'd like to first invite up uh, our uh, city mayor. We have uh, Mayor uh, Rusty Bailey with us. Come on up, please, sir. Greeting friends. <laughs> and Eve Mubarak. <laughs> Greetings on this holy occasion of Eid Ul Adha. Bakar Eid, or the festival of the sacrifice. Board Chair Ibrahim Masood. Where's my friend? Ibrahim. And Director Aman. Ayman. Hello. Thank you for inviting me, us, to share this holy day with you. The congregation of the Islamic Center and the Islamic Community of Riverside and Inland Southern California. Director Talib, congratulations on your appointment. We wish you a long, peaceful, and productive time here at the Islamic Center. Looking around, I see many faces that are familiar. I have been here before. I see the same principles here that make Riverside a wonderful place to live and to work and to worship. These principles are engraved at City Hall. You've heard me say this before. We are diverse, we are inclusive, we are committed, and we are proud in Riverside. We're diverse. I see folks from all over the world here. We are inclusive. I see representatives from other faiths sharing in the sacred moment. We are committed in Riverside. I see your, your, your commitment to the Riverside community by your involvement in serving our city, in working in our city, and giving back to our city. And we are proud. I see the pride in the faces of your children, of your families, and your faith. In today's special, The Sacrifice, I also see the historic and spiritual ties that bind Islam, Judaism, Christianity. This feast honors the willingness of Ibrahim, or Abraham, to sacrifice his son on God's command. Of course, as Abraham is about to fulfill his commission, God sends the angel, Gabriel, or Gabriel, as my faith knows him, with the ram for the sacrifice, sparing the son. This parable also tells us, as you well know, that life is more than just about ourselves. It tells us that life is about more than sacrifice. Life is about service. Service to your fellow human beings. No wonder the Islamic faithful are told to divide up the meat from the sacrificed animal, with a third going to the family, a third going to relatives, friends and neighbors, and a third going to charity, to the poor, to the needy, to the least of these among us. So no matter where you come from or what your faith is, these are, these are good principles. These are great principles. These are the right principles to live by and to honor. I know that the Islamic community of the Inland Empire has faced some trying times, especially since 9-11, which we commemorated together yesterday. You were there with us. Amen was here with us. But in each case, in each case, in every case, the Islamic, Islamic Center, the Islamic community has emerged stronger together in spirit, endeavor, and action. We are indeed better together here in Riverside. There is also nothing we cannot overcome if we honor the traditions and principles of Eid. We'll adopt. So as you enjoy the feast of the sacrifice, I hope you will recommit, as I do, to serving and honoring family, community, our nation, and the neediest of those among us. Thank you for inviting me to share today on this special occasion, and God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor, for uh, for this invitation and for the beautiful words. Appreciate you being uh, doing this invitation. Uh, like to invite next uh, Councilman Melendres. Please come on up.
Councilman Andy Melinda is actually a longtime friend of the uh, of our community. Uh, he stood by us and uh, plenty of times he made things a lot easier for us than they needed than uh, than they spared us the difficulty uh, with some of the things that we've had in the uh, in Muskie. So uh, welcome and happy uh, words. Thank you so much, Team Celebration. Thank you so much for the invitation today. And I cannot tell you how, how excited I am to be here in this very important and deep uh, celebration and deep in faith. You know, we live in troubling times. And we know, we know that the Muslim community feels under pressure. I don't think we're much different because the Latino feels under pressure as well. So we understand those pressures and we understand the importance. We also understand the importance of diversity to our community and the richness that it brings. I also understand that when something goes wrong, that is completely, completely separate from your deep faith, you feel like you're being attacked. You feel, you feel, like you feel hurt because you do not feel that you're part of our community, but you are. I'm here to share with you that you continue to be part of the Riverside family. We share, in many instances, the same concern. In these struggling times, we need to look past that and stick together and continue to share our faith, share our culture, and share our pride in our culture and also being part of America. So thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to say just a few words, but also thank you so much for inviting me to today's celebration. Thank you. And uh, as, uh, as uh, Chief of Police has come up, I want to thank uh, my cousin Melendez for pointing out this wonderful uh, point about this concept of us and then there is no us and then you know we we are a part of what makes this city great and there you know there's no us and them it is we we are all we're it's you know we're all in the same boat here and uh, and finally uh, I'd like to invite uh, my friend Chief of Police Sergio Diaz to say a few words and after this Jalo will begin with the prayer. Thank you. It's uh, very important for us, all of us who are representing the city of Riverside, to be here today in solidarity with, with you, with this institution. Islamic Center is very important to the uh, to the city of Riverside, particularly to the Riverside Police Department. I know we've, we've talked before several times, but I think it cannot be said enough. Your safety, <coughs> your safety, your participation in our community are primary goals of ours. They're very important to us. So we want all of the prisoners here, all of the members of the center, to know that the police department in particular is open to you. If you have any concerns, uh, any any worries, anything that you want to uh, tell us about, if there's a way that we can do our job better, better we want to, to hear about it. Anyway, I do want to be brief. Thank you uh, for the invitation. Thank you, David. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like.